Well, good afternoon, my friends. It is Comics Workshop from MerrickBennett.com. And thanks right at the start to our patrons over on the Patreon for making this possible. And you can join over there on the Patreon. All right, we're going to do a little pencil, inking, and erasing today. I've got my pencil, I've got my inking tools, pen and marker, and I have an eraser. So we'll start with pencil and eraser, as always. Always starting our process with the penciling. Get our ideas down, pass them by some other eyes, then throw some ink on it. And it's Monday, so we're doing some monster portraits. Here we've got the one from uh, the finished Banjo Monsters from last Monday. We built this up from basic shapes and added all these monster features. And we're going to do that again today, only today is guitars. Oh, so let's do a couple practice guitars. So um, we did the banjos with just a circle and then a neck coming off of it. Guitars are a little different. There's a couple ways to do them. You could do like an eight and then round off the thin part of the eight. And then you put a little sound hole just above that or right on the middle part. And then you can throw a neck on there and that's your basic guitar, right? Or you could do, or you could kind of nest your circles one into another and round that waist again and give it a neck as long as it needs to be and put the hole somewhere in the middle, maybe a little up above that. Or you can get as crazy as you want. You can do like pear shaped guitars, put a sound hole in there near the top and you can do a crazy short neck or a big head here. There's all sorts of different little doodads you can add onto your guitars. That's kind of fun. Remember your little bridge there. That's the basic idea. But today, let's see. Let's flip this over and get started with a really wild guitar. I've got a monster I want to try drawing. And I don't know what's going to happen once we start drawing her. So we'll see. Let's see. I'm going to just put my margins on here. I always like to put a little frame around the outside edge of my paper. Protects my artwork from that, that remorseless edge that just drops off into nothingness. All right, so I'll put my artwork in here and maybe I'll rough out the basic shape of my monster. She's gonna be a little taller here. And, oh, I had an idea for the guitar too. I wanna do like one of those crazy electric guitars. So um, you could do, if you wanna do a figure eight natural acoustic guitar, there's your figure eight and you can do the thin line there. And you put the sound hole in there and that's your basic guitar shape and you'll put the neck out this way and then we'll put the arms over it just like we did with our banjo monsters. I'm going to try something a little different right on this place where the guitar would go. I'm going to do a line off this way and a line off this way. It's going to be a crazy shaped guitar. All right, so instead of that figure eight, Gonna have like the the flying V. There we go. That's gonna be the guitar. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be dramatic. Now we'll bring a line in here this way and a line back from this point. And they're gonna meet somewhere in there. Maybe we'll make it even a little sharper. How about back like that? The more sharp those points, the more dramatic the shape of the the guitar. This is gonna be an electric guitar, obviously. You can clean it up as you go, or you can leave all your pencil lines in there and let it get as messy as it needs to be. Let's build the neck off here as long as you want it. Make sure it's fairly straight according to the V, right? You don't want a crooked bent guitar because the strings are going to have to go Whoop, right along here. We'll put a little bridge mark in there. No strings. As many as you have. This is, this is freeform guitar, so you can put as many strings as you want on there. We'll just put a bunch of thin lines just right along that neck and the strings are always straight. Right? Then you get to decide on a shape for the, the head stock up here. I'm gonna do like the, this is like a V, so maybe I'll do, it could be like a uh, an arrowhead. You don't want it to be too sharp. Maybe round the end off a little. It looks kind of dangerous if it's too sharp. Or you can sort of bend it down a little. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Come up with a good shape that you want on the end there. That one looks like a supersonic guitar ready to take off. And let's just add a couple knobs and dials down here. One, two, three. How much control do you want over your sound? Maybe four knobs there. A couple pickups here. Now that is a crazy electric guitar suitable for our monster here. 
All right, just like we we had a couple kinds of banjos here, and we had very different monsters here. I'm going to try to do something different from these monsters. So maybe instead of this sort of egg shape, maybe I give it more like a, a general kidney bean shape, like I'll curve it a little more as if it's bent around that guitar. See that? Now that's not the shape of my monster. That's just, I mean, it's the shape, but the monster's going to look pretty different from this. I'm not sure. I have some ideas here. Let's find out as we draw. We'll just kind of let it become, let it take its own shape as we draw. And you can make your monster as detailed as you want or as simple as you want, right? Super simple, put an arm on there, put another arm coming off of here, maybe coming up to there. Don't even put hands. Um, maybe legs coming off like that. So it's feet pointing in, made it look like oh, it's jumped down there or put a leg up like we did with our banjo monsters, wherever you want. That could be as far as you go, right? You could, this is cartooning. So you get to decide how detailed your picture is. There's my monster. Little line like that changes the meaning of the face, right? Um, or little line like that changes the character of the monster and the meaning of the face. So that's a roughed out monster right there. But I'm going to do, let's, I'm going to, we have a couple more minutes here. We'll be drawing for, I'm trying to do like 15 or 20 minute sessions here. So why don't we work with this? We have a basic shape. We have a basic place for arms. Let's add some claws and fur or horns or whatever. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can make suggestions in the comments. And we're going to give this monster a little more character. And you can draw as much detail as you want, or you can stop at any point and start inking your picture whenever you want. So let's see, to start with, I kind of like the idea of maybe this monster's looking up. So let's give it a mouth first. I like big mouths on my monsters. Just makes them look a little more expressive. Now you gotta decide, do you want this to be an overbite? Which I find makes the monster look, tends to make them look a little more silly or a little more biting and incisive because you get those sharp teeth hanging down. Or do you want your monster to have an underbite where the bottom jaw comes out? And that I find makes them look maybe a little more stable, maybe a little more um, trusting. I don't know, how does your monster look with an underbite? I'm gonna go with the underbite here. Maybe I can tuck the chin over the guitar. Ooh, that just kind of happened, that line, and I got that idea from the line. It's like the monster has its own shape and wants to take its own form here. Look at that, that, that big jaw comes out over the guitar and that makes it sort of nestle. The guitar kind of nestles into our monster here. I like that. All right, um, I'm thinking this monster is, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm thinking this monster is like, has just struck a note and there's this sustain going on. So maybe closed eyes. Oh, that looks so peaceful now. It's just adoring the sustain. Maybe we should give this monster a little ears here so it can hear. Or maybe your monster has, maybe, maybe this is the kind of monster with an underbite that has the kind of ears that kind of hang down dog like and can pick up those tones. And then um, let's work on those arms because now that we have a couple details on the face, those arms don't quite cut it, huh? Just single lines, stick figure lines. Looked fine as long as the face was super simple, but now suddenly they're they're too sticky, too stick figurey. So let's flesh out the arm. Just give it like some a line to either side, some weight there. You know what I kind of like, actually, I'm gonna move this line. I'm gonna move these lines over slightly because I just thought if that monster is has just like hit a note, it's gonna raise its hand slightly. So I kind of want its paw to be hovering. I'm gonna keep the fingers super simple, maybe just three pointy fingers there. That's a pretty short arm too. So maybe this arm, is pretty short too. I'll shorten it a little just by curving it up a little earlier. And I can put the three V fingers there. I mean, those fingers, I'm just making a little, um, what is that? Like an M with an extra bump, right? M and a third finger. And that becomes the clause. If it's in this context, if it's on an arm, 
under a face and so on. Oh, I like the, I love how those curve and they kind of add to the expression of the face, right? The body language changes how you read the face. The face changes how you read the body language. If you curve that mouth just slightly and give it a dimple, now it likes what it's hearing. Oh my goodness, very nice. Let's give our monster some shaggy fur. I'm thinking shaggy fur all over, but I'm kind of thinking maybe we can put a bow on here because monsters do like to decorate their, uh, their, their dreads and their long fur and their shags and their horns and things with bows. And we'll put some shaggy fur coming off the back here. Ah, oh, that's nice. This monster has pinned back their hair here, their fur. And let's bring that fur down the back too. Let's just give this, it's chilly out. Let's give this monster a nice warm fur coat. I'm gonna just bring these lines down, 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 down. Oh, oh, that's the chin there. That's not the chest. Let's see this chinny chin chin beards. And then we'll give this monster a nice warm fur coat all the way down, there we go. Oh, that looks so nice and cozy. Hmm, I kind of feel like we should pin something on this end here and put a strap over behind the head and maybe a strap coming down here and pinned on, uh, where's the corner of the guitar? Right there. Let's just color that in dark so we can see it. That looks a little better. No, well, no wonder this monster's kind of bent over. This is a heavy, fancy electric guitar here. Um, let's see now. We gotta figure out these feet. Let's keep the feet simple. And we'll just do, what if we do like bird feet? So we'll give it a toe there. And then right along the floor of our picture, three skinny, skinny claws. Oh, I like those. We'll do that with this one too. Back toe and three skinny claws all kind of pointing in the same direction. Oh, I like that. And maybe this monster has decorated this leg with another bandana. And put a bandana around there and we can erase the leg lines. It's a very stylish monster. And maybe this monster has like a, a bracelet on this claw and a wrap or something on this claw. We'll just put some decorations and maybe like a little friendship bracelet here. Oh, this monster is nicely souped up now. Maybe like an earring on this ear. You can do like, see that a little, little circle and then a little circle inside it. And it hooks onto the ear there and you can, or you could just do a line like this on these ears. Let's darken under that ear. My imagination's just flashing all over this monster, looking at all the cool parts all the cool things we could add. Maybe a little bit of fur on the arms because those arms look awfully cold now. There's one more piece we need to add here and that's how does this electric monster guitar make its noise? My imagination just grabbed these legs and said, you need those little bird leg striations, wrinkles all along you there. That makes them look a little more substantial. So how does this guitar make its noise? Well, clearly it's gonna have like a plug right here. Right, and something's gonna plug into that, so we'll give it a little piece coming out. And maybe that thing that plugs into it, oh, I just thought of something. Oh, I'm gonna, this is gonna be more fun. Let's take that plug out there. Let's put the plug, we can keep the plug there, but let's put the piece coming out over here. So it goes back this way, but we have room here to draw what's making the sound. So we'll bring this cord out here and we'll wrap it around and maybe we'll wrap it behind that foot and around this leg and through itself again and past this leg and maybe it loops and maybe it comes around to what's making the sound. See, there's the cord, that's the sound cord. So let's see, let's now double that and we'll turn it into a noodle. Remember past couple of weeks we've been practicing drawing all these noodle knots. Well, now we get to noodleize. So it went behind that leg, it'll go in front here. It will go behind the leg again, it'll pass in front of that leg. So I will erase there. 
Oh, I like how that looks. It looks like, careful monster, don't dance around too much. You might not realize how tangled up you are. Let's give it another loop here, just to help it curve, make it look more interesting. These little details, like most people who look at your monster might not pay attention to what the guitar is plugged into, but the detail is there. Like it makes a difference that you took the time to, to doodle this chord and not just use a line, but to give it some, some body, some heft. Let's put this part over. Doesn't really matter. I'm just making that up as we go. Whatever seems to look more interesting. Oh, and you know what I bet this is? This is not a chord at all. As monsters like to plug in their guitars, it's getting wider here because, let's do another, we'll do like a little monster, big mouth. This is the speaker monster. This monster's job is to shout out the chords. Ah. So we'll make this mouth really big and open. And maybe these eyes are like, shot from shouting so loud and maybe there's like a singing tongue coming out and that's warble warble wobble 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 let's put that line down the middle warble wobble 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 warble wobble and then remember our trick with these mouths let me make sure this is in focus here there you go remember our trick with these mouths if you drop a line halfway down or so and you black that all in or even better for inking, if I put my gaping maw at the back and black that in, this will be all black here. Then I can use those lines. Remember we did that with our banjo monster mouth and I liked how that came out. So I'm gonna use it again. The shading of the top of the mouth and the black way at the back. So we'll do that to give our, maybe I'll make that black area even bigger because this is a huge dark mouth. All right. Oh, let's give this little creature some little paws. Like it can stand up and walk around and follow you around on stage as you play your guitar. It's like a little, little um, amplifier monster partner. There we go. And we can shade that leg to make it go under the belly. And we can be as fancy as we want. You know, these this leg could come in front of the tail and so on, however you want to do it. And we might want to give it a little clue, like maybe it's kind of punk. It's got a spiky mohawk, and that spiky mohawk goes all the way down the tail, so you know it's that monster's tail. And we'll just bring those bumps all the way. I don't even have to draw all these bumps, do I? Because I can be rough with my penciling. And we'll put those bumps all the way, getting smaller and smaller. Maybe they'll go all the way up to there. We'll see as we ink it. All right, so now we've got our guitar. We've got our sustained note. Ooh, we've got, we're plugged into the amplifier monster and it's shouting back at us. You know, maybe her hair is kind of flying back in the, in the blast from amplifier monster because you get a lot of breath and, and uh, maybe even some little spittle spray along with the rasp and the sound. Oh, I like those little dots. All right, so last step here as we're coming into the home stretch is I'm gonna take a little time now that I have this about the way I want it, um, starting from basic shapes, adding in detail by detail, just kind of finding your way. Next, I'll come in with my ink. I haven't decided if this monster has a nose, if that makes them, I kind of like that nose. It makes them a little more human, but a little more scary actually. So usually I'll start with my marker when I'm ready to ink. So I penciled it all out and I basically got all my details where I want them. So I'll come in with my marker and I'll do the, um, the, the heaviest, darkest lines. Usually that's the outline, right? The outline of my monster. This hair I think will all be thin lines, but this ribbon I want to stand out, this ear probably around that earring. Uh, this ear here, definitely the mouth is a big jagged edge, I'm just outlining all the edges of my monster. Definitely the guitar I want to stand out. So let's do that. With, that's going to be like bright, bold colors, I think. And definitely a sharp, cartoony outline so it's really easy to see. 
Definitely that arm too. So you're, oh, we didn't do the, look at that. Let's just make sure all the pieces are gonna fit here. We'll put in the keys, the uh, tuning pegs, one, two, three, four, five, six, if it's a six string guitar, little tuning turner keys there. Just little bumps. I'll put those on with a thin line marker. I think the um, tail will be thin lines because I want that to be a little skinnier. Let's see. We'll ink this arm, probably these hands, because they are kind of stand out over the guitar. I want them to kind of pop off the page for you. And you should be able to see the rough outline of this monster now. And it looks a little funny that it's got sort of a curve to the back there, but maybe those are like wings folded under the uh, fur. I don't know. We'll just let this monster look the way it's going to look. I like how these little feet are pinned onto this great big monster and great big guitar overhead. That's a nice contrast. It's kind of visually surprising to me. I didn't expect that when I set out to draw. I thought I'd give it like paws like it has for its arms. So I always look for some kind of surprise as I'm doing my monsters. I think that's why I like drawing monsters because all the bets are off, right? Let me come in here. I'm gonna worry about the amplifier monster later. I wanna get a little more done, like maybe get the face and the hair down here. All the bets are off. You can add whatever details come to you as you make your monster. Those monsters by their nature break some kind of rule of size or number of eyes or number of tentacles and so on. Now this hair, I can be kind of scribbly with it. I want it all to kind of go in different directions. Maybe a couple are curly and a couple are straight. It's kind of unruly monster hair tied back with a bow here. Put a couple wrinkles in that bow. But that bow, if I color this, if or, or if you print it out and color it, um, that bow could be a shocking color against the dull green of the monster's hair. And some bangs here. I want this monster to look shaggy. So maybe like a couple bangs down over the eyes. Oh yeah, I like that look. It's kind of fun to do a couple things in ink without checking them out in pencil first, because if sometimes they don't quite work out and then you get a surprise in your picture. Shorter hairs on the chinny chin chin. Shorter hairs on the arm. See how those hairs kind of follow the, the contours of the arm? So you can kind of trace the shape of the arm by following the lines of the hairs. I like that look. It's texture, it's texture, isn't it? Makes the arms look like furry, but not shaggy because it's shorter lines. Put this bracelet on here while we're thinking of it. We'll put this bracelet on here, a couple decorations there. Put this friendship bracelet on here and finish that line and finish this fur. So you see how this is gonna take shape. And if I'm doing this as a black and white ink drawing, I have to make everything black and white so that it'll scan nicely so that it will um, look clear when I print it. If I print up a sketchbook of these monsters, I get these strings as straight as I can. If I really need them straight, I could always, always get out a ruler, but I kind of like the hand-drawn look of following my pencil lines and trying to get them straight. You can decide if you want to put frets on your guitar. I'll put light lines here. Fourteen frets there. Probably this monster goes a little higher on other guitars, but that's going to be good enough for this monster melody. Got to think of what song this monster's playing. What 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 their band name is? Actually, you know, we could pair this monster up with our banjo monsters, and we start to get a sense of our band. Right? We've got plunk. Tinky, tinky, plunky, plunky, and we start to, maybe we'll do a rhythm section next or something. Monster drummers, 
you know, quite a wild band here. So what I'll do is I will, um, we're about out of time. It's been 25 minutes, oh my goodness. Thank you for drawing with us today. Really fun to draw with you. I will finish up inking this and I'll post it over at the Patreon. Um, and you can head over there, patrons over there get to see the finished artwork. They get to see the prep sketches if there are any. Um, and you get, of course, invites to the next um, sessions that we do. We'll be back on Friday, it should be midday again. This has been Monster Music Monster Monday with Merrick. Nice to draw with you. Um, thank you to patrons. Thanks to friends and everyone who draws along. And thanks for your feedback. And thanks for sharing your, um, your, your drawings, whether they're birds or monsters or doodles or noodle knots or whatever they are. It's great to see what you're working on. Um, be safe. Be well, everybody. Keep drawing, keep inking, keep making up monsters, keep those ideas flowing, and we'll be back soon to draw together again. All right. Happy Monday, everybody.